Schedule is we start off with a young man who is blind right here from uh, uh, Philadelphia. Uh, he sang at Hillary's uh, uh, first announcement uh, and sang in the uh, national anthem. And he will be singing the national anthem tomorrow. Uh, and there will be about 50 uh, people with disabilities, different different disabilities, uh, male, female, different colors, blah 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 blah. Um, and and they will be on the stage with him. And when he finishes singing the national anthem, uh, then uh, Senator Harkin will come on the stage and for four minutes uh, talk about the ADA because it's our anniversary. And then uh, when that's over with, we'll have two different people speak during the night. One will speak just prior to uh, prime time. And uh, then we will have also a film that will talk about Hillary fighting for different groups, which will include one segment on disabilities, and then uh, we will have uh, more people with disabilities throughout the rest of the convention. But it tells you, uh, Janet and I have been at conventions, and we've never been a focus as we are uh, this year uh, with the campaign aggressively pursuing our community and telling our community that they're with us. And then what's happening is we in our community are saying we're with her. And as I, you may have heard, we have 200,000 uh, people who are following what we were doing today. Uh, that tells you the interest that is there. It also is really a testimony to Hillary Clinton and everything that she stands for. Because we are tremendously delighted and excited to be embraced by this campaign and by all the that she is uh, promising to work with us on. But it is also very much who she is. This is a candidate who for her entire career has valued, respected, supported, and believed in Americans with disabilities. So it's really such an exciting time for us to see this all come into fruition. And we are a community of 59 million strong who we really work hard to be sure that inclusivity is the watchword. And our vice presidential candidate has a great record in regards to disabilities as well. So he's been a strong advocate. So you have uh, not only a person in the White House, uh, Hillary would be a strong advocate herself, but a vice president by her side would be pushing just as much. And uh, he's been involved with disabilities from the very beginning of his public career. So it's exciting for us to have individuals with disabilities that we no longer wanted the paternalistic approach to our issues. That we wanted to be involved, we wanted to be engaged. And what is is that we have gotten more aggressively involved year by year and everything pertaining to us. And so you've seen that this convention is a reflection of that. The platform is a reflection of that. But we also, in turn, are more involved. We've raised $900,000. You have 200 people working on policy issues. We have 40, about 40,000 people on Facebook. We have 20, 200,000 people following us today. So all of a sudden you see our community responding very aggressively to the openness that Hillary has shown us. Now, you heard also the other panel talking about transportation, because transportation is key to everything we do. And so there's a lot going on in Hillary just committed yesterday to make sure that this is one of our top priorities going forward. So we have her totally uh, at our back making sure that we can uh, make a difference here. So we thank you very much. Thank you.